And me say topic pan topic crush of them yellow Please subscribe like she run a door See me I see a fresh link sticking on me upstairs Jenna Represent for Rush Link Tell her about this blogger right now Tell her Healthcare facility in Western Jamaica requires a deposit of 2 million Jamaican dollars for each COVID-19 patient being admitted. Yes peeps, no joke, plus we have an exclusive update on Kaylan Dowdy. Yes people, I spoke with her mom and she gave me some updates on Kaylan. so stick around for today's update. So don't know what to do before we go any further people, just hit that like button, thumbs up the video and just do the right thing. Remember to jump in at the comment section, leave all your opinions, your thoughts on each situation, on each topic and share the video with a family or friend. If it's your first time on Rushing TV, consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell so you do get notified whenever a video is uploaded. Yes people remember to click all notifications after you hit the bell no joke so just do the right thing stay tuned and we'll jump into the video today now peeps a private health facility in western jamaica requires a deposit of two million dollars for each covid 19 patient being admitted the facility which had no space to admit patients yesterday said in addition to the deposit persons may face additional charges depending on the length of stay and the course of treatment administered. Early last month, Jessica Wright paid $2 million for her 87-year-old COVID-19 striking mother to be admitted. She said the horror story about the public hospital prompted her to seek treatment at a private facility. However, she was not prepared for the cost. When me hear the price, is like me turn fool. Me know say all we put together in the room don't have so much money. So me just tell the lady thanks and tell her say may we get back to her right said she told the weekend star that her mother was most precious person in her life and the life of her siblings and so they pulled their funds we took our mother to the hospital the following day and we paid the cash and she was admitted the following morning we went back to see to the facility to check on our mother and was told that we were we would again have to come up with more money to pay for medications for her. Me not tell no lie. At that time, me really, really shocked, Wright said. At that time, I turned to the lady and said, Then I want the $2 million for. And she said, of a deposit upon her admittance, she added. Broke hurting but determined to fight to keep their mother alive. Wright and her siblings left the search, left to search for funds to pay for medication. My mother, I be gem, I will life. If we have to walk naked, we have to try to save her life, she said. Wright eventually managed to borrow some funds, but when they returned the next day, her mother had died. All of us went into shock, she said. Although we know that COVID-19 was deadly, we thought two million would at least allow her to live a little longer. A similar story has been told by a relative of a Westmoreland family who spent four million dollars for two persons to be admitted at the same facility. Both died and their deposit were also considered to be expenditures. Jano viewers and subscribers, Russian family, may I tell us the story that one that looks serious and it's own serious people. Imagine two million dollars for one patient. You understand? And after that two million dollars, your response to all medications yourself. That sounds serious. That sounds like highway robberies, like them people that take COVID-19 as some far far away if they get richer. You understand people? So right now we just have to be careful, you understand, and stay away from the virus because them thing and I look good. I mean, the health, the, the public facility, them overcrowded right now. Them can't take on no more patients, and it, you're more liable for dead or drop out if you go the side there. And if you think like you wouldn't try the, the private facility, them now people is like you can't go afford it. People, them are got jail. You got dead eventually when you hear them cost of people two million dollars for one patient, four million for two patient. All three patients died anyways, and them all of them money they gone. Six million dollar, just like that, people. So we have to be careful. Leave all your opinions on the topic here, the story. Here. Leave it in the comment section. Remember to like the video. We are gonna jump right over upon Kaylan update right now, people. Yes, peeps. So we know in past days Kaylan was not doing so well. You know, based upon what her mom said, you know, Kaylan was going through some different situation. We know that Kaylan was in a in a condition where she was not so stable but in recent days now so Kaylan 
kind of improved to a point where she even got to go outside yes people that is some form of good news or I should say that is a bit of good news for Kaylan and for the people who are supporting her you understand so yes people Kaylan got to go outside and get some fresh breeze some fresh air and we have the picture where we are showing right now where you actually can see that you know she has a little smile right there she has shown some teeth and we like that we love that that shows us some improvement right there but right now we have some more updates on Kaylan as her mom will be sharing in a voice note that you know I spoke to her so people just bear in mind that Kaylan's situation she always go on prayer and I've got always pray for Kaylan and for I don't love Kaylan and I support Kaylan I just always keep praying every night every day on the say a prayer for her I understand that Father God can just continue to put in the work on her you know because she's already a testimony you know people so I have to just do the right thing and just send some prayers for her because of that we are promote over yes over Rushling TV so people just hear what our mama say right Hi, morning, Rush Link. All right, Kaylan is uh, what you would call stable again. However, there is a new, you know, something new on the table. She has a hematoma, um, or what you would call a blood clot on the right side of the heart where the pacemaker is. So, um, you know, that is what we're trying to to deal with at the moment because uh, that is a serious situation all right but other than that she is she's in good spirits she's doing she's doing okay yes viewers and subscribers so you heard it yourself from the mother of kaylan dodi yes miss venisha buckley she, she explained that kaylan has a serious situation dealing with currently which you know in basic case scenario them can use um medications or so forth to dissolve the blood clot they with their own the the pacemaker they yes people but you know in other cases she might have to do a surgery so I want to just send some prayers to Kaylan right now that that thing they get dissolved and you know she don't have to go to the surgery part you understand people because she's been through many surgeries already we know right now she just want to recover so just send some prayers in the comment section no joke and more and big up all the persons who contact me and always asking for updates on Kaylan we know I love Kaylan and I show no support so when I see the video then I feel like up the video and leave an um, opinion or share the video with a family or friend if you can contribute to Kayla and you can talk her mother same way and do a little on the candle because and remember it's nine months now and the expenses them only a go up you understand it's like a, a high bill so if you can do any little thing you know support the mother same way and so that Kayla can you know come and give her full testimony when she come around you understand people so do the right thing and for the person them who genuinely just supporting Rushling TV I love on the same way I appreciate the love just continue to stay tuned as me say support the video them same way and may I come with great contents all the while all the time so you guys just stay tuned stay blessed until next time rushling tv i'm out